Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. As you know that we are discussing the very important rule of linguistics that is syntax. And in syntax we are analyzing that minimalist syntax. And in minimalist syntax, in this video we are going to deal with the very, very primitive, very basic operation that is operation merge. What is operation merge syntactically? If you are going to work on meaningless program, this concept is very important for all of you. In this video, we will discuss what is merge and how we can apply merge practically on the linguistics data. And I want to request you that if you are new in our channel, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for such more updates. Let's move toward the topic. Let's see. In minimalist syntax, we have the very basic operation that is operation merge. What is operation merge? As you are seeing on our blackboard that we can say that we have the operation merge. Merge means to put together. We have two different categories. And the only task of operation merge is to put the two different categories together and make one of them the label of the whole categories. And see how it works. Suppose alpha and beta. These are the two distinct linguistic categories. And if we apply merge on these categories, we can say that this is the alpha category and this is the beta category. If alpha matches with beta, here we can say it will become the label of these two categories that is the lambda. And in the bracket form, we can say that first this bracket shows that alpha and beta matches and then Lambda is the label of these two linguistics categories. We can say that where lambda is where in the whole bracketed one, we can say that lambda is the label of alpha and beta. And now we are applying these merge operation on linguistics items. We can say that if you have the two linguistics item, one is the a, uh, second is the book. And in these two categories, we have the nominal expression and one the functional category like terminals D. And if we apply the much operation, we can say that this category is alpha and this is the beta category and when we apply the operation merge on alpha and beta where alpha is a beta is book and we can say that in the bigger phrase structure grammar the label of these merging category will become the r why we can say that the r so in the previous video, I have told you that we have the crucial element, the head. And we suppose that head will become the label of that category. And we can say that this is the head position and this is the movement position. In the more traditional aspects. And we can say that head will become the label of the whole projection. And so we can say that it will become alpha it means that this is the nominal categories and we can say that if we apply operation merge on linguistics category and we can construct a whole sentence while merging the categories like alpha and beta and this is the very simple notation that shows he has postulated and he has presented to you the very very interesting and very easy thing for all of you. But the point is that you have to apply 
you have to get these things and then you have to apply these things on your linguistic standards. So I have given you the example that how the operation merge works. When you want to and write the linguistic data, you can say that operation merge is recursively applied on any category. And then we can say that it will construct a hierarchical structure of the linguistics items. We can see that this is our expression. This is our linguistics expression. And this is showing to you that we have merged first alpha and beta. This category is supposed to be alpha and this category is supposed to be beta. Then if we merge these two categories, we can say that the label of each category will become the alpha. Uh, and we can say that this is the hat. And then this hat will merge with another category. Another category is we can say that if we say a read and over read we can say a read merges with a and in a we have the word book and we can say that this has become the phrase. This is not the hat. I have postulated that the hat will become the label of that particular category. And this is the hat. And this is active in the domain. And it will become the hat. We can say that our sentence has become in the bare fist grammar read a book. And in this way, we can construct hierarchical structure of our sentence. And this is the operation merge. And this is the very, very basic operation that you have to get if you are studying on linguistics, especially in syntax and modern syntax. And after that, we will discuss the next operation. That is operation, this is operation merge. The next is operation move. These are the core operations that we have to learn when we are working on the minimalist syntax, the minimalist program, and these are the latest assumption that Chomsky has postulated in 1993, 1995, 2000, and 2002. And if you want to know more about language and linguistry, and especially the minimalist syntax, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. Thank you very much.